Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you my five top tips to traveling as a vegan. It can seem pretty daunting to travel as someone with a dietary requirement, whether that's that you're vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free or dairy intolerant, but it actually can be very easy. And the secret to that is preparation. Now I wanted to share my five top tips, most of which involve the concept of preparation. Preparation before travel is so important even when you don't have dietary requirements. When you're just a traveller, you learn to prepare things. But when something like veganism comes into play, it takes it to a whole new level. Now I've been vegan for the last three years, and yes, I've run into a lot of roadblocks while travelling. But that means I've learnt a lot of things as well. Tip number one. Learn the word for your dietary requirement or the ingredients you need to avoid in the language of the country that you are visiting. For example, you could learn the phrase soy vegano, which means I am vegan in Spanish. Or you could learn the word leche, which means milk in Spanish. So you could go to a cafe and say, un café por favor sin leche. Coffee please, no milk. This makes things a whole lot easier. If you know the words of the things you are trying to avoid, it makes it so much easier to avoid them. I will share a little story with you which is quite embarrassing. The first night with my tour group in India, we went to a restaurant for a group dinner. And I had not actually eaten a lot of Indian food prior to travelling to India. I know, right? It's amazing considering Indian is now one of my favourite cuisines. And the fact that some of my travel companions were actually only in India for the food. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Novice little Marnie did not know that the word paneer meant cheese. So here I was looking at the menu under the vegetarian section of the menu. Alu paneer. What is this? And my tour guide told me they were potato balls. I thought potato balls, that's great, that sounds vegan, fantastic, I will order that. And then when they arrived, they were potato balls stuffed with paneer. If I had only known that the word paneer meant cheese, I would not have been in that mess. But you live and you learn. Learn from my mistakes, people. Always remember to learn the words of the foods you are trying to avoid in the country of which you are visiting. I will never, ever get over how stupid that mistake was. <laughs> Veneer. That is, that word is everywhere and I didn't even know it. <laughs> there are actually some uh, vegan cards out there that you can find on the internet. And they are these cards that come in a whole bunch of languages and they say, I am vegan, I avoid milk, eggs, meat, all of that on this one little card for each language. And so you can just go to a restaurant in whatever country you're in, show them the respective language card, and they can get the message quite simply. So if you're trying to avoid milk because you are very severely lactose intolerant, that is an important one for you. Very important. Tip number two, happy cow. If you are vegan or vegetarian, you have probably heard the words happy cow before, but if you haven't, welcome to heaven. Happy Cow is a website where you can search wherever you are in the world and find vegan or vegetarian restaurants or restaurants which cater for vegans or vegetarians. So um, somewhere where you could go and eat with your omnivore friends, but there also is definitely an option on the menu that you can eat or uh, uh, vegetarian groceries, shops which have specific vegan foods. It is amazing. Um, Happy Cow is a fabulous resource when you're traveling all over the world. And remember, it is a user-created database. So if you find something, if you find a fantastic vegan restaurant or find a restaurant that caters spectacularly for vegetarians or vegans, maybe the chef has been super lovely to you and made sure that he has created a whole dish for you because there was nothing else on the menu, add that restaurant to Happy Cow so other people know. Um, I ran into a situation like this in the Lake District where I just on chance happened to come across a fantastic restaurant that catered for vegans and vegetarians with a whole separate menu 
and yet I couldn't find it on Happy Cow so I wrote up a entry for it myself and submitted that to Happy Cow so other people will know it's there. Happy Cow is fabulous. In the same respect, that brings me to tip number three which is look at Barnivore. Barnivore.com is quite like Happy Cow but it is a database of alcohol. <laughs> I enjoy a drink. If you enjoy a drink when traveling, you need Barnivore. Your alcohol is often in involved in travels, whether that's stopping in at a pub for a pint and a quick check of the map whilst you're exploring a new city, whether that's going out for dinner and um, ordering a glass of wine with your meal. Alcohol often comes into play when you're traveling and unlike food, um, alcohol can be very difficult to tell whether it is vegan or not. Um, because of ingredients that aren't actually in the final product but are used in the creation process. So whether that is a refining product used in wine like isinglass or eggs or milk or whether that's an animal product used in the brewing process for beer. Um, yes, that can happen and yes, you might be drinking something without realising that it is not vegan. It is more difficult than food so I will actually admit that for the first quite a while whilst I was vegan, I wasn't even paying attention to any alcoholic drinks I was consuming. So in actual fact, I don't have a vegan anniversary for many different reasons, that is one of them. Um, because I probably wasn't in fact vegan when I thought I was. But Barnivore is a fantastic resource where you can look up whatever alcohol you are about to drink or would like to consume or if you're at a bar and looking at your options you can search them on Barnivore and find out whether or not they are vegan friendly. Um, now Barnivore like Happy Cow is a user created database so you might not find a result for the item that you are searching but if you then find out the answer to that question whether or not that particular alcohol is vegan make sure you upload it so other people can find out. If you find out that your favourite wine, which is not on Barnivore, is actually vegan, upload that so other people can be enjoying that glass of wine as well. Simple. Now, my fourth tip is to always carry some vegan snacks on you. You might get caught out. No matter the preparation, no matter the searches on Happy Cow, no matter the research you've done into the city you're in, you might not have any options available to you. You might end up eating the garden salad at a restaurant and, and that is not exactly filling nor an adequately nutritious meal for your dinner. Um, so make sure you have some snacks in your bag. I love to carry cliff bars when I'm traveling. But if you're looking for a more zero waste option, have a con containers in your bag with nuts, seeds, homemade muesli bars, pieces of fruit, um, carrot sticks and hummus, Whatever takes your fancy, stash some snacks in your bag and make sure you're not caught out. And tip number five, my final tip, is to be polite. Um, be gracious, be polite, be understanding. If you need to make a request at a restaurant that uh, a meal can be veganized for you or if you're just inquiring as to the ingredients in a particular dish, be polite about it. Say it with a smile. When you are traveling and you are are asking questions as a vegan and trying to be catered for as a vegan, please understand that you are also being an example as a vegan and you kind of want to be putting out the best possible image of veganism that you can. It's hard to like a rude vegan, so just make sure you're being courteous and respectful and polite when you're making your queries and be thankful when a waiter is exceptionally helpful or when a chef customizes a dish for you, say thank you, tip if appropriate, be polite and be thankful for what they've done for you. In the same respect, understand cultural differences. You might be traveling in Eastern Europe where people who are of a lower financial state um, may not have access to fruits and vegetables, particularly if you're doing a homestay um, in a country where foods can be quite expensive, be understanding that this family is trying to provide for you the best that they can and do what you can within the limits that are available to you. Don't be overboard, try not to stress too much, you can only do what you can do and they can only do what they can do. 
So be understanding of that and be mindful that there might be a different cultural situation around you that might make it a bit more difficult for you to eat the way that you ideally would like to eat. Make the most of what you have in front of you and try as hard as you can to make your situation as ideal as you want it to be but don't be rude and be thankful for what you have available if that makes sense. I know that was really long-winded but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say there. Anyway, those are my top five vegan travel tips and I hope they helped you. They certainly have helped me a lot um, in the years that I've been traveling since becoming vegan. I've learned a lot along the way. I've made a lot of mistakes. So I hope that you can learn from my mistakes basically. Uh, I feel like I finally got a handle on vegan travel in the last year or so and it's kind of thanks to some of these tips that I just shared with you. So. I hope your travels are much easier as a vegan from now on, and yeah, enjoy the world. Don't let your dietary requirements stop you from getting out there and exploring. Whether you're vegan, vegetarian, dairy intolerant, gluten free, don't let it stop you from exploring the world. You can do it, it just might take a bit of extra work, but it is so worth it. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, share this video with anyone else you think might need these tips. Travelling can be difficult but it can also be easy as a vegan. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!